how some y'all's problems cracking it's D about to react to another DDG and Holly Bailey video again. <laughs> so it says DDG is down bad behind Holly Bailey, refuses to let her go. Oh, okay. So he's talking more. He got more to say, child. More to put out there in the world, in the universe. And she has not said a peep. From my understanding as of now. But anyway, uh, let, let's see what he has to say. Okay, you guys. So it seems like DDG is having a hard time with this breakup between himself and Holly Bailey. Now, according to him, they've been broken up for a while, but he just announced it a few days ago. Now, I'm really banking on Holly Bailey is the one who didn't want the relationship. She's the one that wanted out because it seems like DDG Holly. is having a hard time letting go. And he's really hoping that they can work things out and get back together. He's saying that it's no other woman that he wants. He um, only wants Holly. Let me say that right now, y'all. I am not dating anyone. I don't have a potential girlfriend, nor do I even think about that whatsoever. I don't plan on getting into another relationship at all, unless it's Holly. That's the only way. I am not finna get a new girlfriend. I don't have the desire. I don't want multiple baby mamas. I don't want none of that. We taking a break, like I said. Oh, it's a break now. I'm finna go pick my son up right after this. Wait, it's a break? If it's a break, why would you make that announcement? If y'all are still trying to figure things out and it's only a break. A break implies that y'all are going to get back together. And y'all still in limbo trying to decide if you want to be together or not. So if you're in that space, you wouldn't release a public statement that says that y'all are done if it's a break. I don't think he knows what words to use. Because <laughs> that don't make sense. This, that makes zero sense. That's the problem, too, I feel like DDG has, is he does not properly um, convey what he's trying to say, and then he gets mad when people, you know, twist his words or they, you know, misunderstand him. But it's like, you're not articulating yourself properly. Because a lot of these things don't make any sense. So. In my life. Oh, when he yeah. says love my life? Like I said, I'm finna go pick my son up right after this. Let me live my life. Oh. That's none of your business. But she looked young, so that's the type, that's the type of comment she's... Now, it was allegations going around oh, that DDG messed like around with his not. ex, Ruby Rose, and that's why these two called it quits. Now, it was even rumors saying that that's who he really wanted was Ruby Rose, but it yeah, seems well, like huh? DDG is stuck on Holly Bailey now. You know who's been really quiet throughout all this is Holly. She hasn't spoken up to defend him because it's been a lot of people speaking out and coming down on him very harshly, saying that Everybody he basically this used her. He put a baby on Holly. Her. He's very much painting him like a narcissist. Okay, right. Now, again, Holly has not spoken out to That's defend him. Name. She hasn't spoken out to defend herself. She has been on her Beyonce. But I'm really wondering if this Good. relationship has ran its course. Holly has outgrown him, and he's sitting there hoping that maybe one day they can work something out. I'm really curious Wait, to I know think I call what Holly. was really going on in that relationship because, again, no, I think I'll be saying is hopeful Holly. that they will get back together. Yeah, I say Holly. He said he doesn't want anyone else but her, but I'm wondering if that's how Holly feels because it's been rumors going around that she allegedly has been hanging out with Brent Fayez. But when I say DDG has been fighting for his life, Defending himself left and right, okay? He's been responding to videos. Just really trying his best for people not to see him in a negative light. Me being with Hallie, like that's, she's just, oh. she's a superstar. She's the greatest ever. Oh. Being around her, I oh, feel like it made up. a lot of people that's side right. eye me because they had already had, you know, your princess. So they already had they mind set up about her and they look at me and I don't fit their image. But it's cool. It's a reason why she stayed with me. It's a reason why we had a child together. It's a reason why all of this happened. Like, me and Allie are life. forever family. Forever. Yeah. I will Swiss cheese your granny. I don't have a oh. hundred. Oh, I will Swiss cheese oh, your granny. granny over Allie. And that's just oh. what it is. That's called family. So, you know, Very I feel like people should keep that in their head when they talk about us. You talk about our family. You need to relax. 
Okay. Like, I'm not just like, no I'm not just no random nigga. Like, yeah. I'm not just no random nigga. And I feel like y'all don't consider that. DDG definitely tried to with that baby. And here's why I say that. So he went on his podcast um, and he basically said, um, we're going to be family until we're 99. Until we're 99, I'll turn somebody to switch cheese over her. We're attached forever. We're family. He's like, I'm not just some random dude. So and y'all talking shit about me, blah, blah, when it comes to her. Y'all hurting her too. Um, that could, the, y'all talking so much shit about me, that could affect the way I parent. Ooh. There's literally nothing, nothing, and I mean nothing, anybody could say to me on any platform that would co- affect the way I am as a mother. Hmm. That was a weird thing. He to wanted say. to ensure that he will be attached to that girl for the rest of I think that's a that is a strange thing to say. I mean, I I get what he's saying, I guess, but again, he does not properly articulate himself because that does sound like a you're trying to gain sympathy points and you're trying to be like, well, if y'all like the baby, y'all better be nice to me because I'm taking care of the baby. <laughs> and it's like, what the fuck that mean? Like, is the baby safe? Like, nigga, what? So this is what I mean by he does not properly, you know, select his words. So I think that also contributes to the backlash that that he's getting. And then the problem is he keeps running his mouth. That is a problem. You don't articulate yourself properly. And on top of that, you keep running your mouth. (laughs) So you're giving people so much ammo to drag you with, you know? And I'm not saying he doesn't articulate himself properly as if he's not intelligent. Like that's that's not the point I'm making at all. Because you can still be an intelligent person, but just don't use your words uh, carefully or properly. But yeah, I just think he, maybe he, maybe he um, is a little too lax. And he just says things without taking into account how people will interpret it. So maybe that's what, what the problem is. I'm not sure. Of her life. And honestly, I feel like he, she left him. She left him. She finally, she finally said... What the fuck? Because the fact that you keep doing, talking, 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 and my girl hasn't said a, a beep, a peep, nothing. Nada. Even Beyonce, like the auntie or something, she's who never going to say anything. She's going to quietly move on with her life as she fucking should. You hurry enough to put out a fucking statement. You on your podcast talking about how I would tell my younger self not to get into a relationship because it's distracting, but you got that girl pregnant at the height of rear. If that's not a distraction, I don't know what the fuck. And I'm talking about, oh, it takes two, it takes two. Baby girl is green. She was green. He is quite seasoned. Quite seasoned. And he knew the only way to be, to to maintain that relationship, that she wouldn't be so quick to listen to people telling her to get the fuck is if she got pregnant. But then once, sometimes when you become a mother, you kind of like wake up to certain things that you, you... It's almost like your brain was not clicked into. And that's not to say that he's a bad father, but... He even said on his podcast that um, that people felt as though, you know, he wasn't right for her because of her celebrity status. No, we felt that you weren't right for her because of how you conduct yourself, not because you're just a YouTuber. Because if you were a YouTuber that carried yourself in a certain way, yes, she is a Disney princess. Yes, she does have a very wholesome image. It is a part of her image. It is a part of her brand. And when women who have that image attach themselves to men like that, it tarnishes them. Well, wouldn't y'all direct this energy towards Hallie? She's the one that's choosing to date him. Why y'all get mad at him? I don't think that makes a lot of sense. Now, okay, like I said, he's giving them ammunition to drag him and to be upset with him. But before, people were on his head and mad at him because they felt like he wasn't good enough for her. But it's like she is the one deciding to be with the man. So drag her <laughs> and be like, girl, why you fucking with this nigga? Da, 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 you can do better. You know, and that's how y'all feel. I'm not saying it's right or wrong to, to make that statement. Um, well, actually, it is wrong because you don't know this woman. You don't know their relationship and... I think that is ridiculous to be in their business to that degree. I get they have a public relationship and people are going to give their opinions, but I think that's just a weird thing to say when you don't know the the details of their relationship. But yeah, if anything, if you're going to you know drag anybody or talk shit to anybody, it would it would be to her. He he wasn't forcing her <laughs> to be with him. The fuck. Them. There's nothing wrong with being a YouTuber. It's nothing wrong with being a podcaster. It's nothing wrong with that. But your lifestyle, and it's like during the time when she has so much going on, you didn't even think to yourself to say, you know what? Let me let me reel it in a little bit. And now you're you're on podcast talking about how you shouldn't have been in a relationship. You're attached to her for the rest of your life, and you're crashing out because some an older man said he didn't know 
who you were. Well, of course he doesn't know who you are. He's old. Nobody is old as. He's old as. But guess what? Everybody watches. This. BDG definitely trapped Hallie with that baby. And here's a little TikTok creator fun. Oh, CPM is not that high for y'all to be sitting on here talking for two minutes Woo. about me. Yeah. You know, if somebody put this into perspective um, in my comments because <laughs> I did previously say that, you know, I don't know why so many people care in order in, enough to make these think pieces on like TikTok and stuff. Um, cause I'm like, okay, I'm talking about it cause this is my job. I'm getting money directly from, from this. So I'm like, I don't know why y'all discussing it. If this wasn't my job, I'm going to be talking about this at all. I don't give a fuck about these people. Um, and you know, somebody was like, well, you know, just like you're reacting to it for money or whatever, these people are essentially reacting to what's going on and they're building their platforms. So they said that, you know, they're basically doing what he advised them to do, <laughs> which is to work on your own business venture and work on yourself in order to get out of a nine to five. So he like, they trying to elevate their platform so that they can, you know, get sponsorships and get money. Cause yeah, TikTok, I don't think they pay them a lot directly, but you know, I think a lot of them get money from like brand deals and stuff, but they're able to get that when they have the numbers when they have the following. And when you're discussing pop culture and like uh, current trending events, it does, you know, bring more uh, viewers to, to your, your page and it gets you more followers, which in the long run will get you money. So they're just like, so how is that different? I was like, you know what? You're right. <laughs> I mean, you got a point there because I, I, I always say that just like, what the fuck y'all care? Like what the fuck? Who cares? <laughs> you know, like I don't know why they get on TikTok and my fucking bonnet and be like, did he do actually? Da, da, da. It's like, what the? So, you know, I was talking shit uh, about that, but you know, if you look at it that way, it's like, mm, so <laughs> Can he really, he can't really get mad at, you know, people who are doing this. Because it's like, this is elevating their their content. This is probably one of her most viewed videos. Well, I don't know this woman. But if she's like a smaller creator, especially, given that this is a hot topic right now, this is one of her probably most viewed videos as of late. Just like this is a hot topic right now. People keep asking me to keep talking about this and, and react to the updates. I'm going to react to it because this is a hot topic and the hot topics bring bring the moolah so it's like you can't get mad at people doing what you told them to do <laughs> you said escape your nine to five and get and get money and you know elevate your your content whatever the fuck you said kids i will i looked on your instagram i looked on your tiktok everything oh, you got stopped. two kids two with no baby daddy oh but you worry about me and now you you just the baby daddy too though now so don't make sense to me. You got one kid stop, and no baby mama. I'll be seeing what y'all be saying. Y'all be thinking I don't be seeing, but I'll be seeing. It's just like, bro, I'm a father. I had, I'm in my child's life. Worry about your baby daddy. Why are you worried about me? That's a good thing. Because now y'all both single parents, if anything. If that's the dig, is that, oh, she's a single parent, you are also now a single parent. <laughs> Because you're single and you're a parent, and you're not with the with the baby mama. So you you just a baby daddy. You joined the you joined the club, buddy. That she's a part of. Y'all in the same club. What are we talking about? And just because the baby daddy isn't present on her page, it's like they clearly they probably aren't together. Just like you remove your baby mama from your page, because that's what people were reporting that oh DDG removed all pictures of Holly from his his page, and Holly did the same. So it's like, people could say that same thing about you. See what I mean about he doesn't articulate himself <laughs> well or use his words properly because it's like, you could just, you could come back at him with like so much. He gives, he gives people so much ammo. It's like, what? I don't understand it. I, I know you don't. It, Sir. I love y'all to death. I think he should stop. I think at this point, the best thing for DDG to do talking. is just be quiet. I mean, you can't beat up the internet. And the more he talks to it, try to defend himself, the, the worse he, he looks. looks. Now, I, the, the, she said it perfectly. And someone who's been on the internet so long, I would expect him to understand that. This goes beyond him just trolling or just trying to, you know, garner attention and, and keep the clout alive. You can tell that he's he's getting bothered by this amount of hate that he's getting. I, I feel like in all the time that DDG has been on the internet, he has never received this much hate. This is the most hate I've ever seen him get. And it's a lot. He's getting it from like mainstream media now. 
Like the blogs are posting about it. Joe Button is fucking talking about it. Like, so it's reached such a mainstream level. And I don't think he's not, I don't want to say I, I don't think, I know he's not used to this. He's not used to receiving this much hate. He's received like little hate here and there from like Bruce's audience. You know, and like, you know, a little, little shit like that. And that shit came and went, whatever. But he's getting a lot of hate. And I feel like he's been getting hate for a minute now since he's been dating Holly. But now it's like peaked. It's real high right now. And I feel like it is affecting him. You can tell. So it's like, you should get off of line, buddy. Take a step back. And especially him making the comment about the baby. And oh, y'all need to be careful how you talk about Holly's family and if you like the baby, then I'm parenting the baby, so be careful. So it's like it's clear that he's he's being affected by this, and anybody would. I'm not faulting him for that, but again, he needs to take a step back from the internet. I do believe that DDG is down bad behind Holly, and it makes her more appealing to him because she left him. You know, the person who always leaves is the one who usually has the upper hand. So I think. He and they always come crawling. <laughs> and it's like, bro. Anyway. He's having a hard time just accepting the fact that she actually left him. But y'all let me know what do you. Interesante. The tea, the tea, the tea. Um, hmm. Hmm, I wish him well. Breakups are hard. They're horrible, actually. They literally physically hurt, okay? When you're really in love with someone and that relationship ends, it is not a good feeling. I cannot imagine doing that publicly. Uh, especially, like I said, on this level. He, this shit has reached mainstream media now. Not just, oh, YouTube streets and YouTube drama. No, this is mainstream talk now. So having to deal with a breakup while the world is criticizing you and talking shit about you, I know that's a lot to take in, you know? Um, but he needs to go heal. Go sit down and shut up. I, why, why not do that? I don't get it. I don't understand. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!